Hi, this is Tom Searcy with The 1% Difference, and this week our lesson is on being the prize. Listen, when you show up inside of selling, there's a tendency sometimes to be needy. You know what I mean by needy? You, you want a deal. And you start to compromise and work your way up, and uh, people can feel it. They know you need a deal. And they feel like they're in a powerful position because they put themselves in the position of being the prize. I want you to change that. I want you to work on your own strength. I want you to not be needy. And by doing that, here's what you have to do. You have to figure out a way that you are, in fact, the prize. I'm going to give you four key ideas that are going to help you to think about being the prize. So the first one is a sense of time and the idea that, hello, I must be going. Winners are busy. You want to make certain that when you meet with them, instead of saying, thank you so much for the opportunity for us to speak today, I know how busy you are, I know how many things you've got going on, and we're just grateful to be here. No. Your answer is, I'm glad that we have this time. We only have an hour. I have other things. I've got other appointments I'll be uh, making today, and I want to make certain that we use this hour as best as we possibly can. Winners are busy. Number two, you want to create a sense of exclusivity. That sense of high demand, which says, you know, we're very, very pleased to be talking to you right now. Characteristically, typically, we only really work with the Global 2000, or we only work with the Fortune 500. But I believe there's an opportunity for us to really find uh, some common ground and a way for us to be beneficial to you. Um, but I got to tell you, it's a little bit outside of our norm for us to be sitting down and looking at this, but we're very excited about what we've heard so far. You're creating a certain amount of distance and exclusivity. You're creating a sense that you're desirable. The third thing is you want to create a sense that they have to qualify. You say, I'm very glad that we're having the opportunity to meet today. There's about a dozen questions that we go through as our process to understand whether there will be a good fit between our two companies. And I've answered the majority of these already in advance or our previous conversations, but I have a few things that I wanted to ask so that I know that in serving you or working with you, that you really qualify for our best offerings and for the work that we might be able to do together. This is not a way to be offensive. It's a way to say, look, we're worthy we're good, we're strong, and therefore we choose who we're going to work with. One of the great definitions or characteristics of wealth and strength is the ability to choose your customers, and you want to convey that sense of strength and confidence. And finally, number four, you want to make certain that the prize is worth it. You have to be prepared when you come into that conversation to say, this is why we're remarkable, we're great, why the top quartile, the top 25% of everybody in the marketplace chooses to buy from us versus buying from one of our competitors. There's a reason, and th that reason is, and you have to be able to answer that. You have to know why it is that you are special. Go into that conversation, putting yourself in a position that you are the prize, and what will happen is the people that are in the room will feel that strength We'll respect you as equals and we'll be more interested in what you have to say. Until the chance for us to talk again, go out and make the 1% difference. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell, and that way we'll let you know every time there are new videos that are out there. And you can also visit our website below.